Hello, I'm Delia McFarlane. Welcome once again to the Alumni Special. My guest today is Roberta Way Clark, who is a graduate of the Mount and is involved in a very special project right now to do with seniors. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Dilly. Thanks for coming today. Thank you for asking me. Your association with the Mount has been um, uh, quite uh, exceptional in some ways. I think uh, uh, your involvement with the Association of Part-Time Students here on campus and your dedication to the continuing education program here at the Mount has made you a different kind of a student. Uh, I wonder how you feel about uh, your association with the Mount in view of that experience that you've had. Oh, well, Dilly, the Mount is my favorite place. <laughs> I never lose a chance to tell everybody how wonderful it is at the Mount because I came here as a very mature student, if you recall, just um, six or seven years ago, really, and without the support of the Mount, and especially of continuing education, I don't think I'd have made it. Mm -hmm. And you have made it. Well, you finished your degree. Made it this far. Yes, you graduated mm -hmm. in uh, 84. In 84 with a diploma in gerontology and a general BA, and then went on to Dalhousie, the other place, and did an MA in adult education. And um, Are you planning to pursue your, your academic career any further? Well, or? interesting you should ask me that, Dilly. I did apply to the PhD program, but I was turned down. I Why guess I don't, I don't think I fit the model that <laughs> Dalhousie has of a PhD student. <laughs> well, Roberta, chances are that someday perhaps we'll have some kind of a graduate program here and you can come back to the that's Mount right. as a really mature Never student. Never too old at the <laughs> Mount. <laughs> <laughs> now, your particular interest, Roberta, has all along been in, uh, in programs for the elderly and especially learning experiences for them. What, uh, what kind of work are you doing now with seniors? Well, I'm doing something that I think is very, very exciting now, and it's with Dr. Mary McDonald, who, as you know, is the Director of Continuing Education. Uh, Mary was in Europe last year on a study leave and came back with the concept of third age learning, uh, when we consider that the first age is our childhood, the second is the adult years and our working years, the third is retirement and more leisure. And she came back with the idea of doing something especially for that age group but just getting it off the ground and then letting them run it themselves. So that's the whole idea behind Elder Learners. It's a concept of uh, lectures. We've come up with a group of three and we've called them Roots, R-O-U-T-E-S, Roots and Roofs. And I don't know if the camera can maybe pick this up, we can try. Now, as the PR department pointed out to us after we had done it, it looks wonderful in print, but you can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> roots, roots, and roofs. roofs. You're right. Now, you've got to tell me, what, the, what is the connection here? There's three, there are three separate the three lectures. three R's. Oh, I the see. Three the three R's. R's. If you miss them at school, right. come and join us. Right, The I first see. one, Roots, is with Neil Yanish, and the Mount knows Neil very well. He's a seafaring man, and he was director of the Mu Maritime Museum for years, and he gives a wonderful lecture. And the second, that was, that's on February 24th. Mm -hmm. And on uh, March the 26th, we have Terry Punch, who is mm -hmm. an expert on genealogy. He also oh. teaches St. Pat's. He has several books to his credit, and he is the maritime expert, there's no doubt. Terry is also very funny, as Niels is. I always say he's a misplaced actor. <laughs> you know, when he's talking about the Indians who are our first settlers, he becomes an Indian. When he's talking about the Irish, he comes up with a wonderful brogue, <laughs> and the same with the Scottish. And so these are two very, very interesting men that I met uh, through my experiences in Elder Hostel, because they both lecture there. And our third is Joan Waldron. Oh, and of yes. course, everybody knows yes. Joan, and mm -hmm. she's absolutely wonderful. And she's going to talk about the houses. Oh, so roofs, I yeah, see. Yeah, that's where the roofs come uh -huh. in. And she's going to talk about the houses from the great stately houses mm -hmm. that the perhaps sea captains in those days built to the little stone huts or a little farmhouses, farmhouses and, that yeah. were built. And I she's see. going to tell us about that. Terry, of course, Roots is, Niels is going to tell us how the people got here, always by sailing vessel, of course, in yes. those days. Yes. And Terry's going to talk about Roots, mm -hmm. R-O-T-S, who came. How do you find your roots? How do you search your family history? Oh, that's a, that, that's, that's a wonderful topic, yeah. especially, I think, for seniors who in the retirement years might not have had a chance to do that while they were raising their family. That's right. In fact, I'm very fortunate that in, in our family that one of, one of our grandparents did decide to do that in his retirement, and we've been ever so grateful because it's documented our family history. And my children are 
overwhelmed with the amount of work that he put into it. So that's the kind of thing. The, all of these programs are custom made for seniors, and yes. and their interests are are taken care of in the in the format of the program. Well, that's what we're hoping, yes. and we're hoping Great. that I think uh, my own friends are terribly excited about it. Uh, it's only it's fifteen dollars, by the way, and that's all for the three lectures. And for that, we give you lunch on the first day and refreshments on the second and third. So it's quite a bargain. We would like people to uh, sign up by February 17th, if they possibly could, because it will just let us know the numbers. If we're going to have 30 or 40, we'll use the pub. Mm -hmm. If we're going to use have hundreds, which we hope, we'll use the multi-purpose room. Yes. So this way, we're a little bit flexible yes. in our planning. Oh, that's great. Uh, it's it's co-sponsored by the Continuing Education Department mm -hmm. and uh, Experience Unlimited. Now that's an interesting group. Okay, what can you tell me about them, Roberta? Experience Unlimited was formed about two years ago, and it's the whole idea of seniors giving back to the community what they've gained from it. It's not seniors helping seniors, it's seniors helping everybody out there who needs it. So we have a roster now of, of senior people who will offer to do. Uh, retired accountants may offer to help out a small business starting. Yeah. I might help in the counseling field somewhere, you know, with my experience in counseling. Um, a retired nurse might offer to go to Spencer House I in the see. afternoons. That sort of thing. And so we have this list of people. We have a list of requests already from, from uh, the community. In fact, people will call me and say, could we get such and such. Now we're, going, we're now at the stage, we've got a grant. Mm -hmm. We're at the stage where we're going to hire a coordinator. To put these two together. Marvelous. So there so are- So where's the funding coming from for that? Uh, from New Horizons, mainly. As you know, they're very good yes. with, with senior people, yes. and they think they love to fund educational things now. Mm -hmm. They're out of the bingo games and the card games yes. and that sort of thing, sure. more into education. And of course, we just love that here at the Mount because yes. that's what we're into. Yeah. Roberta, you are really do have a love for working with seniors, don't you? Yeah, I like to, especially the learning aspects of it. Yeah, I, I like to work with them. We also put on the, the senior festival last year, a senior leisure festival and I coordinated the educational part of that. I never did get to see the rest of it. <laughs> I was too busy all day. <laughs> so this year, I think I'll arrange for some time off because there's about seven components from physical exercise to, uh, mm -hmm. well, ours was mental and everything in between. Really? So there's a lot going on in the city for older people. Ha have I, bet you, I bet you've met uh, many seniors who uh, have had remarkable changes in their outlook on life because of their involvement with this kind of program. Yes, it, it makes a difference, uh, Dilly. And so many of them, especially in the learning field, so many older people come back to education after some kind of trauma in their lives. You know, maybe it's a divorce, maybe it's the loss of a spouse, maybe it's the empty nest syndrome, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Maybe it's recovering from illness. So they come with a very special attitude that you don't uh, see in the other age groups. They come because they really want to be here. It's sort of a second chance for most of us to get what we probably didn't finish up properly in our younger years. Yeah, and with a new appreciation, I suppose, for whatever they do learn. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. It is, um, this is not really a professional undertaking of yours, this particular project, the Elder Learners and the Three R's program. But what are you doing right now professionally? What are you working at professionally in your counseling end of things? Well, not nearly as much as I would like to be, mm -hmm. Dilly. Um, I guess I'm going to investigate that next. Why is it so difficult for people over <laughs> 60 to get jobs, even mm -hmm. when they're well qualified? Yes. But I do um, do Seniors in Action for Channel 10, and that's on twice a week. And that keeps me not busy, but... Uh, well occupied. Yes, well occupied. I'm sure. The rest of the work is all voluntary, like elder learners and uh, the experience it's unlimited and that yeah. sort of thing. And then I'm on the board of the Alumni Association here. That's, so that's right. That's that right. gives me a chance to feed back in a little bit of what I've received from the man. Mm -hmm. oh, that's wonderful, Roberta. I, what, what projects do you have coming up when elder learners is through, when that project is through? What's next on the schedule for you? Well, I think we'll I think elder learners will not be off the schedule. I think next September you'll see it really a big thing. Really? This is just a pilot project, really. Oh, I see now. That's and then we'll hope to have a coordinator and to have uh, uh, that sort of thing yes. and for the older people to run it themselves. Mm -hmm. and this will be a year-round thing. This is just a little pilot mm -hmm. project mm -hmm. that we're trying out to see how it works. When, when you say seniors, now who, who was a senior? 
What, what's the difference between somebody who's a senior and someone who's middle-aged? Well, I don't know. I hate to, to, to say that over 55 is considered senior, like you're, you're going to the movies, if you're over 55 you get in half price, <laughs> but some of my 55-year-old friends will not be called seniors. So it's a, it's a little bit touchy there. I don't know. I would say anyone 55 or 60. Mm -hmm. um, I used to say I was middle-aged when I was 55, too, until <laughs> one daughter said to me, how many people do you know that are 110, Mommy? <laughs> 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 oh, sharper than a serpent's tooth. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> what do your kids think about your involvement in this, Roberta? They well, must be delighted. Uh, yes, but you know, kid, mm -hmm. your kids never think you're doing that well, mm -hmm. you know, if you're not making A pluses. But <laughs> interesting enough, one, one daughter was an adult learner and was sort yes. of a role model for me. The other daughter. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Kind of a twist about. A twist there. about. Mm -hmm. And the other daughter uh, went to Dalhousie three years ago and did her BN. Mm -hmm. And she said to me one day, "I've been, I've been accepted to Dalhousie." And I said, "What do you mean you've been accepted to Dalhousie? I didn't hear anything about this." And she said, "Well, you and Diane, all you ever talk about is term papers and exams. So I thought I might as well join oh, you." Oh, well, that's <laughs> great. So you're keeping it in the family. So now she has a degree also. Yeah. So. Tell me, Roberta. So I know that there are many uh, people who have a parent or a special friend who's a senior that they'd love to see involved in this program. But I think that some seniors might be a little bit hesitant, shy or reluctant to get involved. I'm thinking of several people in my mind right now that I know once they got here would really enjoy it, would benefit from it, and would probably add a lot to the group. Uh -huh. How do you get them rolling, Roberta? I think we get them rolling with things like this, Dilly. I've, mm -hmm. I've been doing nothing but the last for the last two weeks, but talking in various yeah. places, uh, Toastmasters, that sort of thing, on really? ATV and, mm -hmm. and my own program, of course, uh, telling them about elder learners. And I've received a lot of calls at home. Good. And by the way, if if, if they want to get more information, they could just call 443-4450 and ask for a continuing education. You don't even have to remember the the, the extension the number. Extension. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, they'll, if someone there will be glad to fill them in. Uh, we have these brochures, of course, mm -hmm. which we're delighted to send out, and we'll welcome one and all Great. on the 24th of February. I think a lot of people, perhaps the, the ones that I'm thinking of in particular that I, I know would benefit from the program and so on, their, their reluctance may be based on the idea that um, they don't have formal education to fall back on, or it's been a long time since they've been involved in any kind of sociable activity on that on that scale, other than watching this program today and, and, and encouraging them as we are today, what could a family member do? Well, for pick one thing, pick up a brochure. For pick instance, up a brochure yeah. and show it. And for one thing, this is a completely non-threatening atmosphere, mm -hmm. and I think that's important because we all feel threatened coming back as older people. You know, mm -hmm. are we good enough? Will we be able to learn? Will yeah. we look foolish in front of the young people? Mm -hmm. It all goes through our mm -hmm. mind. This is completely non-threatening. You don't have to write any exams. You don't have to take part in the discussion if uh, will will be afterwards if you don't want to. It's just fine if you just want to sit there and absorb. All we ask of you, and you don't even have to do that, is to make a little evaluation form for us so we'll know where to take it next mm -hmm. fall. Mm -hmm. So we'll know what you want to hear out mm -hmm. there, that sort of thing. And there's, there's absolutely no pressure of any kind. We'd just love to see one and all come. We'll give you a royal welcome. Oh, that's great, Roberta. Well, I'm sure that anybody's watching today, if they don't feel welcome now, they never will. This is a, a specially uh, a sponsored project by Continuing Ed here at the Mount. Continuing Ed at the Mount. And Experience Unlimited. Experience Unlimited. Through New Funded Horizons. Funded by New Horizons Grant. Well, that's great. Well, I yeah. congratulate you on this program. I think it's going to be, it's going to go over well, I'm sure of it. Oh, I hope so. And by the way, we're not, f we're not funded by New Horizons. We're not funded at all, but, mm -hmm. but our parent group is. I see, yeah. yes. So that's why we have to charge the $15. Oh, so this is, okay, <laughs> all right, that's good. Maybe next fall we'll be looking good. for a grant from New Horizons Great. for this. Roberta, I want to thank you very much for coming today and telling us about the Three R's program. And I'll urge my viewers, if anyone's interested in further information on continuing education here at the Mount or on the Three R's program, to call us here at the Mount. Again, thank you, Roberta. And to my viewers, I'm Dilly McFarlane saying goodbye, and I'll see you next time on the Alumni Special.